Thank you for joining me at Evolutionary Energy Arts once again. So covering some earth changes with things that are going on. We have flooding in West Virginia that, that leads to a state of emergency. So Governor Jim Justice has issued a state of emergency for West Virginia's 55 counties due to flooding. Uh, an estimate of over 20 people have been have lost their lives due to the flooding in West Virginia. And it's pretty intense flooding. As you can see, it's it's <laughs> extremely intense flooding that is going on. Whole towns are being submerged, vehicles overturned, roads are just collapsing and giving way. It's really a very hazardous and dire situation there. And this is not all we have going on. We have a lot of earth changes going on. And the thing that hits me is you know, I've been following this since the 80s and expecting it. And honestly, I expected that we would have what we have now. I was off time-wise. I was figuring it was going to be more like around just past uh, 2000 to maybe 2010 in that whole area. And uh, it's taken a little bit longer to manifest, but it's manifesting very fast, very quickly right now and very powerfully. We have sinkholes threatening homes in the villages in Florida, and this is a, a very, very large subdivision. And um, Florida, as most people know, is prone to the to having sinkholes. Um, but the the size of these sinkholes is the thing, and they're huge. And there's multiple ones going on right now in the villages, and they're just opening up and you know, in Florida, it's one of the things you have to be worried about. We have gorgeous weather. I mean, it's full-on summer here right now. Today was about 81, 82 degrees, gorgeous blue skies, you know, whenever the chemtrails weren't up. But this is part of what you have in Florida. Besides gators, you have sinkholes that can develop and can swallow up entire houses and in this case the lake is actually draining one of these man-made lakes is actually draining through the underground from what's going on with the sinkholes and again when we think about all the things we have going right now are they all interconnected are they all related pretty pretty scary stuff because the villages in Florida is not the only place with sinkholes. Over in Italy, over here, a gigantic sinkhole opened up and swallowed over a dozen cars. This is huge. In Italy, in case you're not aware, um, definitely a fault zone. So it, it's an area where there are, there are two plates that are interacting and so they can be prone to earthquakes and plate movements. And if we um, do take a peek at the USGS, there are a lot of quakes going on everywhere. The Ring of Fire, for sure. Um, lots of things going on in the Ring of Fire. And as you have possibly heard already, Mexico, another 7.2. And they keep saying Mexico City, but it's it's a little bit south of there. Um, anyway, a 7.2 is nothing to sneeze at. That's a very large earthquake. Uh, of now, fortunately, there was not a lot of damage with the earthquake, although tall bur buildings definitely swayed. But then we did have a helicopter crash that was surveying the earthquake damage and did crash and kill 13 people. So Mexico, poor Mexico, once again hit with an earthquake. And we also have an earthquake in the UK, which is unusual. And it, it hit the southwestern part of England and South Wales. And it was a 4.4, which is a moderate earthquake. But when you're talking England and, and the UK in general, that's pretty large because it's not one that is prone for earthquakes. However, this is an area where they are fracking. So this could definitely be a fracking induced quake. And when we look at, you know, quakes and where they're happening, uh, we'll see every single day. I challenge you to find a day that there's not an earthquake in Oklahoma and Oklahoma is not a major fault zone area. 
but there's quakes there and and they're be they're there because of fracking so fracking does induce earthquakes and that's probably what happened there so there's as usual there's quakes going on in the caribbean plate it's been a very very active area tons of quakes still around alaska um, still reverberating from the last big quake there there's a lot of quakes going on in california m mostly smaller but definitely a lot of activity there and there's also some quake activity up at yellowstone as we know the there is pressure building in yellowstone that people are concerned with so we have a lot of things going on there we also have a 2.3 which is a small quake but it was in south carolina in the upstate which is not a usual area now the low country in carolina like around uh, charleston area does get hit with very large quakes but relatively infrequently the last one was in 1886 when there was a 7.6 magnitude earthquake and being that the area is entirely sand underneath there it actually turned kind of into quicksand when they had that earthquake it was as if all the ground liquefied which is a scary thought a lot of big temperature contrasts going on we had a warm-up down here in the south in the southeast uh, the jet stream is dipping. You're going to have a lot colder weather, and you're actually going to have a record cold in Washington State, in Montana, in the Dakotas, in Wisconsin. A lot of snow predicted in Seattle and record cold temperatures for the Seattle area. And also the UK looks to be hit by freezing cold next week, too. And then they could be breaking some records there over in the United Kingdom as well. Um, a newer article out again about pole flips and as we know we have multiple things going on right now we have at least a Maunder minimum upcoming which is a mini ice age and people that believe it's going to be a, a Maunder minimum believe it will be a stronger one for the most part than the one we had last time which which ran um, back in the 16 and 1700s and there are those that think this is not a maunder minimum this is not a little ice age this is a full ice age coming back and those people expect it also to be worse than the last ice age in which case we're looking for extreme glaciation with most of Canada under a couple miles of uh, ice as well as extending all the way down to Boston and all across the, the northern tier states of the United States where anybody that is above the 40 degree area needs to think about warmer climate. So this article is talking about the fact that the earth will be under attack from within and could face blackouts for decades as the poles flip and there could be uninhabitable parts of the world where people will have to move from where they are at otherwise be exposed to high levels of radiation that could cause cancers and just simply be unlivable so another article hit in the mainstream talking about pole flip now when is that going to happen this article says it could happen any moment. This article says it could be just any moment. Most people that I've listened to that seem to have a good solid base in science would say it would take longer than that. Some have said it could be as early as 2050 um, or perhaps slightly earlier or slightly later after that time frame before the actual flip. And then they're in disagreement over what it means, too. Some think that it's just going to be a magnetic flip and, and that, that it's not going to be a crustal displacement. And while there are others that think the entire crust is going to shift, in which case we would have you know catastrophic tsunamis, tremendous winds, and that would mean massive extinctions. So we don't know and that's the honest truth nobody really knows for sure anybody that says i know exactly that the pole is going to end up here north pole here south pole there they, they really don't know you know but they're they're making an educated guess and there's quite a few people making educated guesses and some think it's going to be 
North Pole around Indonesia and the South Pole somewhere off of the coast of South America, whether it's by Brazil or Venezuela, something around there. Some say the South Pole will be a little bit farther back, like off the coast of Peru. Others say it's going to be the North Pole is going to shift just to like where the UK is now. And others say it's going to be in Siberia. So we really don't know. All we know is we are living in a time of change, and that is for sure. So without a doubt. And the sun is at a real low spot. This article is saying, where have all the sunspots gone? The sun is dimmer than it's been. And it's also putting out less energy than in 9,300 years. And that time frame again brings me to something called the Adam and Eve story. It's written by Chan Thomas. And my question is, why is it in the CIA library? If you look up CIA.gov library, reading room documents, you'll find this. And, and this was actually a classified document that was released on June 24, 2013. And so Chan Thomas did research into our history and as we know we've talked about these different extinctions and we've talked about these global catastrophes and pole shifts well you know there's variances and what's the time frame well you know it's been 780,000 years since the last pole shift we're way overdue and there's been so many massive extinctions now his time frame is is much more scary and apprehensive to say the least because he believes that the cataclysm global cataclysm comes about every 6000 years and we are due and so he says that you know the flood of noah the biblical flood was about 6000 years ago and before that there was an earlier Cataclysm 11,500, which will coincide with our, our full ice age. And so he says what happens is the inside of the earth, the core, builds up this dynamic energetics that actually causes a kind of almost like an atomic explosion which hurls the crust into a displacement that causes 1,000 mile an hour winds and tsunamis two or three miles high that literally cross continents wiping everything out and that the only people that really will survive are people that are high up in the mountains and very high up uh, and or safely in like cave systems that are protected and deep within the earth and so he thinks that our amnesia and why civilization restarted in Sumeria was really the remnants of people picking themselves back up and coming back together after a huge cataclysm, which we would know as the biblical flood, which was caused by a pole shift. So he goes against what the mainstream scientists are saying, that the last pole shift was 780,000 years ago. He's saying, no, it was like 6,000 years ago. And so... I'll leave this for you guys to look at. And uh, what he describes is every bit exactly what we saw in the movie 2012. If you can remember, complete continents breaking up, falling under the ocean, just massive tsunamis that reach to the height of Pikes Peak. <laughs> you know, um, incredible, terrifying thoughts that wipe out virtually, you know, 90 something percent of the life on the planet. And he says that it happens about every 6,000 years, we start all over again. And we do know that something, something happens that brings us back to the Stone Age time and time again. We have found too many unusual artifacts. We have found crazy metalworking that is like millions of years old. We have found, you know, f footsteps and, and rock that is clearly humanoid and it's 2 million years old. Is this the case? Is this truly the case? You know, is it not necessarily ETs we're talking about? Just natural catastrophes that keep setting us back 
to square one time and time and time again so we have this beautiful gorgeous planet that looks to be so perfect in so many ways but the killer and the catch is that global catastrophes on a massive scale happen every 6,000 years and when you think about that think about 6,000 years right so if you take a person's lifespan and you know if you optimistically said a hundred years that that's you know six lifespans is 600 years 60 lifespans would be 6,000 years right so and you could just reverse it and say 60 so and it being a hundred lifespans it's really not that much time when you think about it it's it's hardly time at all it's not that much time in the greater scheme of things to be constantly set back to square one with everything that we have happening how how many people do you think are really doubting that there's something unusual happening right now i think most people think that yeah there's definitely something going on i don't know what's going on but there's something going on i think most people can agree so what do you guys think is going on how often do you think the cataclysms come how do we know what we're anything that we've been taught in school is true how do we really know you know perhaps we're all living in a truman show and one of these days they're just going to roll up the sky and it's just it's really a blue screen what do you think perhaps the sun is not real there are those out there that think that so maybe the flat earthers are not as crazy as we thought what you guys think please uh, share your comments with me as always please thumbs up to help the channel subscribe and share with as many people as possible and spread the word and let's join our heads together and get some good thoughts constructive thoughts going some ideas going share your concerns your comments your complaints your questions love to hear them and i thank you guys all so much for joining me at evolutionary energy arts take care and stay safe